Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, February 16th and a record warmth possible on Saturday and we expect temperatures to uh, break into the 50s. The record high for the day is 50 degrees set back in 1954 and again that's likely to fall and we expect the warm conditions to continue right in through much of next week. If we look at the headlines, sunshine, another cold day today but then we'll begin our warming trend starting tomorrow with the temperatures climbing up into the 40s and then into the 50s over the weekend, maybe even 60 degrees at some point here over the next week or so. But again, lots of 50s, and you can see the extended outlook, 6 to 10, 8 to 14 day calls for warmer and wetter conditions. I think we could see some good old-fashioned springtime thunderstorms perhaps as we go through the next couple of weeks before some big changes possibly uh, coming up as we uh, get later in the month. You can see our normal high, so the day is 32 and the normal low is 15. If we look at the warmest conditions and coldest conditions across the lower 48 yesterday, 87 degrees at Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida rather, and the cold spot 12 below zero at Presque Isle, Isle in Maine. Across the MAC area yesterday, temperatures again mainly in the low to mid 30s across the region, and again the cold spot two uh, or rather 22 at Marlette, and the warm spot about 36 degrees to Celsius at London. And if we look at conditions around the area this morning, temperatures mainly in the mid-20s across the area. Marlette, the cold spot, down to 20 degrees. And if we look at the low-level wind fields, you can see the uh, winds out of the northwest and uh, north. That's going to be moving off to the east, and our winds are going to be coming out of the south here starting tomorrow. And that's going to start our warming trend, and we're going to be above to much above normal right down through next week. You can see on radar this morning, this area of uh, snow showers is weakening. It actually looks a lot worse than it actually is, just some light snow flurries and maybe a couple snow showers, but no big deal. If we look at the uh, weather map this morning, the low pressure system that brought the cold front and snow showers to the area is now well off into the uh, northern part of the, uh, Maine and heading out to sea. And again, high pressure system will be dominating and we expect a low pressure system, but this front will begin to move to the uh, northeast as a warm front. As we uh, look at the map by tomorrow morning, again, that uh, low pressure system, no moisture associated with this low, very dry air in place, and we don't expect any precipitation whatsoever. And then as we get into the uh, day on Saturday, the uh, front moves well to the north. And again, how warm we get is going to be based off the timing of when this cold front moves through the area later on Saturday or Saturday night. Again, the European is much slower, and that would keep warmer air in here longer, and that would allow temperatures to climb well through the 50s. If we look at some of the uh, temperature forecasts, the red indicates where the uh, European model is forecasting high. As you can see, mainly in the upper 50s to around 60, where the uh, GFS moves that front through quicker and would have highs in the upper 40s to low 50s. Uh, we're leaning towards the European, and I do think we'll see most areas jumping into the 50s on Saturday. And again, for many areas, that will be uh, record temperatures. As far as the precipitation over the uh, next uh, three or four days, right down through Sunday, or, uh, Monday morning at 7 a.m., you can see very little to no precipitation expected for much of the area. And as far as snowfall, no snowfall expected to accumulate here over the next 72 hours. And as far as the uh, big change in the SOI, yesterday if you watched the video, you see one of the uh, things I indicated is that we might see this uh, negative go even farther, maybe even minus 30, 40, or 50. You can see this morning's contribution, minus 40. So we've got a major crash in the uh, Southern Oscillation Index. At the very least, that means some potentially uh, very stormy weather across the uh, center and eastern portions of the U.S., including the Great Lakes here, in about a week or so. And that is about when we expect the moisture to really pick up. And again, I think we uh, may even transition into a colder period beyond that, but that's not for quite a while. In the meantime, it looks like warm and wet conditions. On the weather watch this morning, again, some red flag advisories or warnings out for the potential of the wildfires, uh, so keep an eye on that. And the only other action in town is across the eastern Great Lakes where there is some lake effect snow. So again, enjoy the great weekend coming up. Lots of warm temperatures moving into the Great Lakes. Thanks for stopping by, and 73s to all.